evolution as a concept is so broad, the tent is so big, literally anything, the way Philip Johnson explains it is, anything other than six-day literal creation can fall into evolution. Like, that's how broad it's become as an idea. So evolution as a concept is different to Darwinism. We know that. The point here to ask is this. Why did it take off in 1859? There's something that Darwin did, because Darwin says this in his book, and so does Huxley and so do others. They say evolution is an old concept. It's an old concept. The tree of life even goes back to John Baptiste Lamarck. It goes back before even Darwin. What did Darwin do? There's only one thing he did. There's only one contribution he's made to mankind. What is that? It's a natural selection. Natural selection. He, for the first time, gave a naturalistic origin. He gave a naturalistic, reductive, mechanical explanation, theoretical explanation, which is why all of these evolutionary ideas, which the Greeks had, which the Hindus had, which, interestingly, even Renaissance thinkers going back, they had these evolutionary ideas. It was like there's a robot and he plugged in the electricity. That's what happened. 